babies in prisons. There is a program at Bedford Hills, New York in the women's uh, correctional facility there that has a nursery for women who have children. Uh, it, it's only for women who, uh, and they're very heavily pre-screened, uh, who have been nonviolent non offenders and who have short sentences, and the program itself is up to 18 months. And they are given a little room, uh, which has a single bed and a crib, and at night, and, and when they're not working, or attending classes of some kind, uh, because they're also a vocational program attached to this, then they can be with, with their babies. And of course, it's a program that has lots of rules. I mean, they know that it is a prison. Not only do they have bars on the windows and guards and, uh, and barbed wires and all of that, but there is a lot of infraction. Something as small like leaving a toy in a baby's crib could be enough for them to have their babies removed. Now, of course, that kind of program is going to have its critic. The critics say that prisons are for punishment, and the critics say uh, babies don't belong in, in, in prisons. But studies have shown, actually, that the children who in the past went through this program were not affected, that there was no ill effect from their having been raised in a prison. But it, uh, one thing that it does, it enables a certain amount of bonding between mother and child. Uh, there are in the United States about a hundred women's prisons. I think they call them correctional facilities, whatever the name. And there is 112,000 uh, women in state and federal prisons. One. Of, uh, out of every 25 is pregnant, enters the system as pregnant. They don't have any figures, strangely enough, about how many babies are actually born in prison. But the number of pregnant women uh, is, is, is much higher than I would have thought. And yet, there are only eight such nurseries throughout the United States. We're thinking of reforming prisons. And I hope that we give a lot of thought and serious thought to including more search nurseries in many of the facilities, if not all of the facilities. The recidivism rate is about half. So these are, you know, the 13 percent for women who go through the through the um, uh, program, 26 percent for those who, who don't. So in itself, it has a lot of benefit. But also just the fact that these women ha end up being better parents, that their children end up feeling more attached and part of a whole with, with their parent, means that we all benefit from that. So thank you for listening. I'm Danielle Levy.